understand it because everybody knows how to measure stuff. So we're going to spend some time talking about it. The entire world has two ways to measure things. One of them is a smart way and is used by 197 countries in the United Nations. The other way is the dumb way and it's used by three countries in the United Nations. Unfortunately for us, one of those three countries is our neighbor to the south so you poor suckers have to learn both. The rest of the world doesn't bother. But you guys need to learn them both. What's one of them? Jovan. Imperial. Imperial. That's the dumb one. And I'm writing it down in red because red is wrong. The imperial system. What is the imperial system? Miles for distance. What are some other distances in the imperial system? Inches, some more. Feet, any more? Yards. And that's enough, right? We all can do it. What about other things that we measure other than distances? What's something else that we measure? Speed, okay. Which in Imperial would be in miles per some unit of time, usually hours for cars. What else can we measure? Weight. How do we measure weight in Imperial? Pounds. Excellent. So we're all comfortable with it. In Canada, we still use the Imperial measurement in Canada. We still use the Imperial for height, weight, and for some strange reason, we continue to use it if we're carpenters. I don't know why. Your house has square footage. You buy lumber by the foot. You buy carpet by the square footage. I don't understand why. In the rest of the world, they do not do that. I was just down in Ecuador. Whenever you saw a house with a sign, it told you the square meters in the house. I don't know why Ameri or why we in Canada stick with... Sorry, Canada is written so badly. I'm getting used to writing with this pen and again. As we go through the year, I will let other people write on here and all everybody makes fun of me until they have to write on here. And they're like, oh, it's impossible. And then they stop making fun of me. So you can make fun of me now, but the more you make fun of me, the more chance are I'm going to give you the screen and say, write something down. You're going to be like, ah! I'm just kidding. You won't be really like that. Go. Metric is the other one. Metric isn't its real name, though. And we'll talk about that in a second. First, I want to talk about what we base the imperial system on. What's it based on? Who knows? Yeah, it's based on body parts. Why is that stupid? Everyone has different body parts. My wife has canoe feet. They're gigantic. She's five foot four. She wears a size 10 woman's shoe. My sister-in-law is five foot four. She wears a size five woman's shoe. They both look funny when they stand beside each other at the beach because my wife has giant water ski feet and she has little tiny chicken feet. Damn it, I recorded that. I remembered to stop recording that twice earlier today, but I recorded that one. My wife knows she has giant feet. She doesn't watch my YouTubes anyway. So it's based on body parts. And that's stupid because body parts don't, aren't standard, are they? If Shaquille O'Neal is the guy we are using his foot for, and I choose him because he has the biggest foot in recent NBA history, he's got a size 24 foot. If I used his foot size to measure me, I'm three feet tall. I'm not three feet tall. If I use my sister-in-law's foot to measure me, I'm eight foot six. But I'm not, I'm only five foot eight. I'm not really, I'm five foot seven and a half, but I round up. I have to round up. Because I was five foot seven and three quarters like seven years ago, now I'm five foot seven and a half. I've shrunk a quarter of an inch. I'm worried in only seven years. If this keeps up 20 years from now, I'll have shrunk an inch and a half. I know, right? 
I don't have a lot to shrink. I'm short. Based on body parts, which is stupid. Now, Jovan. Javon, son of a... I got to do something to remember me. I got to give you guys like a shocker or something so you can like... like a dog collar. One of those dog collars that you push the button and it goes... <laughs> Every time I get your name wrong, you should shock me. Except it'll be like that Simpsons episode and you'll just start shocking me for fun. Have you seen that episode? Yeah, we can't do a shock collar. That won't work. I got to think of something. But every time I screw it up, it's got to be unpleasant because I believe in negative reinforcement. Oh, that would hurt. I'm also a wuss. No. Because then same thing. You'll shoot me anyway. I'll think of something. Um, yeah. So metric was what was said. But I told you that's not the right name for it. That's the nickname for it. Because the metric system, when you say metric, you're saying the word meter, Right. But the metric system is not just used for meters. It's used for everything, right? So what it's really called, and you don't need to write down the whole name because it's a long name, System International. And why am I saying that in that crazy accent? Because it was invented by French people. SI is what it's really called. And it was invented by French people during the French Revolution. You guys studied the French Revolution in grade nine socials, maybe? You didn't do it anymore? They don't have the French Revolution in there? Chopping off everyone's head, destroying all all the nobles, power to the people. One of the reasons they wanted to get rid of the nobles was taxation. Because taxation was being done on all of their products. You bake bread, you pay taxes. You grow wheat, you pay taxes. You... Uh, you're a tailor, you pay taxes. And all those taxes were based on measurements. Every noble had their own system of measurement. So you were always paying weird taxes. So they wanted to fix that and they made it standard. Now, we say metric because for length and distances, we use the meter. What do we use for weight? Not kg, No, that's imperial. We use grams. Kg, kilograms, and we're getting to that in a minute. Uh, Length, weight. What do we use for volume? Like the amount of pop in a bottle. Again, we use liters. Now, two people, one person said kilograms, one person said milliliters, right? Right? What's the tiny measurement that has meter in it? Millimeter. So you'll notice that milli works for all of them. So does kilo, so does centi, so does, right? That's why this system makes much more sense because it is based on 10, the way we count, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, That's how we do this. And it is standard for any type of measurement. Either weight, volume, or length, distances. It's always a base and then either a multiply by 10 or a multiply by 1 tenth. Always, no matter what you're using, it always works. You cannot get confused. Whereas in Imperial, it's not the same. And we'll talk about that in a second. So MM, CM, M, and KM. Those are the four ones that we use in Canada. We use milli, centi, the base, and kilo. And those are all SI measurements. That's what we use. Now, in other parts of the world, they use some others. For example, if you buy a pop in Canada, Jovan, right? Yes. What do we measure it in? Milliliters. A can of pop is 355 milliliters, right? So in Canada, 355 ml. But in Europe, 
they will write 33CL, centiliters. We don't use centiliters, but it works the same way as centimeters. Everybody cool? All right. So I use these four, we use these four in Canada. Now, the word referent, I am going somewhere with that, so I want you guys, you're going to do some talking in a moment. I'm going to tell you what I want done, and you're going to figure it out. A referent is something you use to measure. And I don't mean a tool to measure something like a ruler or a tape measure. I mean something you use to explain it. So I am an American. Pretend. I have no idea what a millimeter is. Tell me how long a millimeter is. What would you use to describe that to me? Talk amongst yourselves. You'd show me? Okay, you carry a ruler in your pocket? Really, let's see it. I know you were. So I'll ask again. What would you use to tell me, an American, how big a millimeter is? Now, somebody always says, well, it's one-tenth of a centimeter. If I don't know what a millimeter is, I don't know what a centimeter is. Tiny. It's... That's my point. Show, give me something to actually describe what a millimeter is to me. Go. What would you use? What is something that you could say, hey, idiot, this is a millimeter? What do you got? The inch. That's actually not bad because Americans know what an inch is. Yeah. That's pretty slick. Well done. I'll tell you what I mean, and then you'll, you're going to fill in the other three. For me, it's the thickness of a fingernail. It's almost exactly right. Thickness, oh man, I ran out of room. I should have written it in two. Thickness of fingernail. So now, talk to your neighbors, fill in the next three. And you're not allowed to say it's a hundredth of a meter. You're not allowed to say it's, two, it's uh, half an inch. Give me something that can explain this. And I'm going somewhere with this, so actually participate. What could you write in for those next three? Talk amongst yourselves. Okay. Should I have done the clap, 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 clap? Okay, sorry. Next time. All right, who has a centimeter referent for me? And remember, I'm going somewhere with this, so work with me. Martin. An eraser? Like on the end of your pencil? Perfect. Okay, like how thick it is? Okay. Who else has one? There's, there's, I'm going somewhere with this pencil eraser like the diameter or the some something about the pencil eraser okay josh right width of a fingernail okay anybody else all right so the point of this is three people came up with three different things right are any one of them more or less right than the other no, because it's up to them for what they are going to use. Everybody understand? In the first block today, I can't remember who it was, but the girl who sits right there, the width of her pinky was exactly one centimeter. So she was like, I'm going to use my pinky. I was like, no, you're not. Your pinky's tiny because she had little tiny hands. I was like, let me see. And she put her hand out. And we measured it on a ruler. It was exactly one centimeter. I thought it was pretty cool. 
you guys wouldn't think that's cool because you're not nerdy like me. But I thought it was pretty cool. So for me, personally, mine is just like what Josh said. For me, it's the width of a pinky. You might have something different. The point is, there's no right or wrong answer. And again, I'm going somewhere with this, so let's keep working. What's a meter? Don't say 100 pinkies. An arm. An arm? Okay, what else? Don't say a meter stick. A leg? Okay, your arm and leg are the same length? <laughs> That's interesting. That would make, you would look like those guys at car dealerships that are blowing up with air. Yeah, Josh? Pardon? A, oh, a desk, right, okay. Anybody else? Somebody in the first class said a yard, and then when we got down to yard down here, meter. <laughs> oh, funny guy. Yeah, a desk. So again, everybody has their own one. For me personally, it's almost exactly a step. I step almost exactly a meter. Yeah. Not really. Um, no, you've seen people walk. Again, that's not the point. The point of this is what I'm about to say. Now, the reason I'm stressing about this and taking some time with it is let's say you're doing some math with various different measurements and you do a whole bunch of math and you get an answer. For example, I tell you that it's uh, 16 miles to Chilliwack and I want you to give me that in kilometers. And I haven't taught you how to convert that yet, but let's say you do all the math and you get a number, right? And that number is, say, uh, 250 kilometers. Does that make any kind of sense? No. But some of you, when I give you these questions, are going to give me answers that make no sense. That's why I'm spending a lot of time thinking about this. Right? Like if I asked you to estimate the length of this room and you said, it's 80 meters. Does that make any kind of sense? No, because it's a lot bigger than 80. It's a lot smaller than 80 steps. Everybody understand? That's why I'm spending time on these reference. So when you do the math and you come up with a number, you can see if it makes sense. Everybody cool? All right. So what makes finding a referent for a kilometer difficult? Martin? Oh, okay. You just came up with one. All right. But he skipped what I was going to ask. So keep your answer, Martin. What makes finding a referent for a kilometer difficult? Derek. Derek. You can't demonstrate it with your body, can you? Right? You, like, you just can't. Right? So you got to think of something else. Who has one? Now, Martin said a hallway. Okay. A kilometer is a thousand meters, which would be a thousand steps. Is our hallway a thousand steps long? See what I'm saying? By having that referent, we can say, oh, it's way longer than our hallway. Okay. Who else? Does anybody have one for a kilometer? Yeah, but again, if you don't know what a mile is, that doesn't help you. Yeah, I am. Referent, though, just like all this stuff. Comparing it to something else is kind of like using the word in the definition to define it. That's gross. What's the definition of gross? Gross. You can't do it. Karen. That's not bad. Now we're, now we're starting to think of it. We all know what a block is. Is a block about a thousand steps? Maybe. But that's good. You're thinking, un, you're making sense and thinking about what's happening. For me personally, I use time, right? I can run a kilometer in five minutes. No, that's not that fast. My exchange student last year could run a kilometer in three minutes. He ran the sun run in 29 minutes and 33 seconds. 10K. I know. It was crazy. He was like 
900 out of the 65,000 people that run that race. He was that good. I was very embarrassed. I didn't even know he was that good. He'd been living in my house for eight months. He says, I'm going to do the sun run, Matt. I say, okay, no problem. And he goes and he runs it and he gets back and I pick him up. What was your time? 29.33. I could barely drive 10 kilometers in 29.33. Driving's a good one though, because in the city we drive 60, about 60 kilometers an hour. So if you drive for one minute in the city, you've gone a kilometer. Everybody good? So for me personally, that's five minutes of running. Now, the relationships. This is important. What of those four is the base? What of those four is the starting point? Lassa? The meter. This is the base. Everything in metric distance comes from a meter. The centimeter is one one hundredth. The millimeter is one one thousandth. The kilometer is one thousand bases. Now again, we only use those four, but there's seven that get used in the rest of the world. Between millimeter and centimeter, there's nothing. But between centimeter and meter, one tenth is what we call a deci meter. Now, it's not used very often, even in other countries. Lassa, where are you from? Germany. Germany. They don't use decimeters in Germany, do they? Uh, no, actually around uh, Yeah. Um, then between millimeter and, or between meter and kilometer, there's two. The first one is 10 times, and that's a deca meter with an a and then there's another one which is a hundred times and that's a hectometer now some of you have heard that phrase before british columbia has been on fire all summer yes and you always hear how do they say how big the fires are sometimes acres and sometimes hectares a hectare is something now that is used all over the world. Hectares are squares that are 100 meters by 100 meters. That's a hectare. No, it's more. It's 100 times 100. Yeah. Everybody cool? Again, this is more for like trivial pursuit game show stuff. This is real life. The other thing you need to remember is kilo, hecto, deca, base, deci, centa, milli works for everything. Weight, milligrams. Distance, millimeters. Volume, milliliter. And all the conversions are the same. So 10 uh, meters is 1,000 centimeters. Everybody cool? 10 liters is 1,000 centiliters. Everybody good? All right. Now we'll talk about barf, the uh, imperial. Now, just to remind you, what are some imperial... Are these all our distances, right? Height. That's how we measure our height and distances. What are some other imperial measurements that we use? We use pounds. Can anybody think of any more? We talked about weight in metric. It's kilograms and such. We also talked about volume in metric. We use liters. Does anybody know how we do volume in imperial? Pardon? Gallons. Yep. Does anybody know what gallons break down into? Quarts and pints. You might have heard those terms, right? Go pick up a gallon of milk or gas in the States is sold by the gallon. So you're all comfortable with that. We're going to stick with the inches. Uh, we're going to stick with distances first because there's no way to teach imperial because everything is different. So we'll start with this. What are your four reference? How big's an inch? A thumb? Yep. 
Yeah, because in French, inch is pouce, which is thumb. So your thumb, perfect. This one's the hardest one. What's your reference for how long a foot is? A foot. My foot is actually like that close to being a proper foot. So it's a good guess, a foot. What's a yard? Don't say meter. Don't do it. But if a yard is a meter and a step is a meter, then what's your reference for a yard? Step. Good job. Now, who knows how big a mile is? Is it bigger or smaller than a kilometer? Bigger. So my referent has to be bigger than kilometer, doesn't it? It's about one and a half times bigger. So if I am five minutes for a kilometer, this must be one and a half times bigger than that, right? So for me, that's 7.5 minutes of running. Why can I not fill that in easily? What makes that a problem? Lassa? It's not based on anything. It's a mess. In metric, everything is 10. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Here, it's a mess. What would you call the base there? What would you guys call the base there? Where should I write the word base? Does it even matter? No, because they're all screwed up. If I make this the base, then everything else works from the inch, doesn't it? In metric, we'd go up by tens, wouldn't we? What do we go up in imperial? The base is one inch, which we abbreviate with two little quotation marks. What is one foot? One foot equals 12 inches. Oh, okay. So one thing is 12. So we're going up by 12s, right? But we're not, are we? If it made sense, we would go up in 12s, then we would be able to ch work it out all the time, right? But we don't. So one foot is 12 inches. One yard is three feet, which means it's 36 inches, right? A mile... One mile is 1,760 yards. Nice, easy number to work with, right? Which is 5,280 feet. Nice, easy number to work with, right? And then I'm not even going to bother with inches because no, only a fool would measure a mile in inches. Like go walking all the way a mile, rolling your thumb to count the inches. Now, do you think I need you to memorize that? Of course not. Because what do I care about? I care about using it, right? This stuff you do not have to memorize. This stuff is all going to be made available to you on that other document I'm going to give you. Okay? You don't have to memorize any of it, but you do have to know how to use it. Now, I haven't shown you how to use it yet. That's okay. I just don't want you to stress that actually all of this is going to be on that chart. So even if you forget the millicentimeter kilometer, it's all going to be on that chart. Cool? Okay. So I am done for now, but you're going to turn the page because you guys are going to work a little now. Here is what I want you to do. You can talk to your neighbors, but you're not allowed to leave the room. I want you to do this. Estimate all of these six things in both systems of measurement. So you just got to estimate. I want to see if you guys can take the reference that you used and tell me how long these things are. That's your job for the next 13 minutes because class ends at 1 o'clock. I am going to give you one piece of homework. Your homework is to answer this question.
The best answer tomorrow gets a gummy bear. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Can't ask me any more about it. If you want to win the gummy bear, you will come back tomorrow and tell me how long a meter is. Hmm? I think that's, that's a five gummy bear question. No, that's all I'm saying. You need to answer that question. The best answer will get five gummy bears tomorrow. Answer the question. And over here, I should see a chart with SI measurement, your guess in SI, and your guess in Imperial. You can talk to your neighbor, you can work it out, but that's all we're doing today. I just want you to fill in that little chart, and then we're stopping. At some point, somebody decided how long a meter was. How long is it? And that's your job, and I'm going to shut up so you can talk amongst yourselves and figure it out. You can move around, you can talk to each other. I'm gonna try names again. <laughs> Madison, Derek, yes. Indigo, Mercy, Cho. I'm just checking names, Cho, seeing if I can do it. Again, again. Tiana. <laughs> Amrit. Karen, Javon, Martin, Serena, no, not Serena, Simran, Simran, and Gagan, no, 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 I'm pointing behind you, Anusha, I'm pointing behind you, Anusha, Leesley, Izzy, Yutang, no, Crystal, no, Yutang, Yutang, right, that's your name, yeah? And Lassa, go. Yeah, I, no, I have to. Oh, I thought you needed uh, to go to the bathroom. Yeah, no. Where, where do you go when you lost something? I lost my uh, bag with my football shoes. Oh, so I would check the office. It's downstairs, the main office. Oh, okay. Check there. Yeah, okay. Um, no, I'm just trying to do names now. Jacob, Nicholas, Jovan, Marcus, Marcos, Marcus, Josh, Noel. Just checking names, Josh. You go. Keep listening. It's cool. Um, who did I forget? I messed up two names that time. I messed up your name still. Gagan. No, it is Gagan. Yeah. Okay. So I didn't mess it up. I said Gagan right when Anusha was going, who's Simran? And that made me all nervous. It's okay, Anusha. It's in my brain. I know it is. Her name. No, oh, she's gagging. There's two gaggins? Oh. Oh, okay. Gagging Brar. Yeah? And gagging something else. Okay. That's why. Two gaggins. That's not my fault. Well, it is. I'm old. Okay, what's your question, Anusha? Okay. Yeah, but you're going to bring me a present, right? Okay. So, like, for two weeks, like, I was just wondering, like, will it affect me a lot? Well, it depends. If you keep up and watch the YouTube videos, then it won't, it won't affect you at all. If you come back after missing two weeks and expect to be right where we are, then it will affect you if you don't touch your math for two weeks. Now, if you have internet in Pakistan, take... Because, really, when you watch the YouTube video, there's no stories and everything. There's only, like, 20 minutes of actual math. 
watch a little, fast forward. If I start talking about a story, watch a little, watch a little, right? If you, you don't even need to do the work while you're gone. If you watch the videos and you have a vague idea of what's going on, you'll be fine, okay? Also, if it's at the end of September, there's a crap ton of professional days in there. So you won't be, there's a lot of school that we miss. Like the 21st is a day off. Then Thanksgiving is in there, right? So there'll be days off. And I'm sure we have, we'll lose a period or two to cops for cancer or some kind of other, right? You don't, you don't miss that much school in two weeks of school, really, when you think about it. Okay. How long do you think that pencil is? Yeah. Okay, well, Derek, you said your thumb was an inch, right? Okay, so there you go. You can't use her finger. She's got 87-inch long fingernails. That's going to screw everything up. My daughter spent the entire month in Ecuador complaining that she wanted to get a mani pedi. I said no. I didn't really say no. I said yes. All she had to do was set it up. Hmm? No, she's 11. Almost 12. What? Oh, Mark. So why are you here? Are you a lawyer?
your comfort food. Like one meter, six miles. Same with the giraffe. I'm sure they're short giraffes. Yeah. Ant-Man doesn't count. I haven't seen either Ant-Man or Ant-Man and the Wasp. I kind of want to watch Ant-Man and the Wasp because I get a bit of a crush on Evangeline Lilly. She's from Abbotsford, you know. The Wasp is from Abbotsford. Her dad's a teacher. In Abbotsford. Or Mission. I can't remember where. Wait. Maybe one day my son will be famous and he will say, My dad's a teacher. Have good days, everybody!